Brandis, more than 200 student athletes at the University of Illinois Chicago are being barred from participating in conference championship events. The decision comes from their conference, the Horizon League, after UIC announced it'll be leaving the league and joining the Missouri Valley Conference next year. All of this as some championships are set to begin in just a week. And joining us now with more are Tiana Jackson, a senior who plays on the women's basketball team and president of UIC's Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and Michael Lippitz, the director of uh, athletics at the University of Illinois, Chicago. And Horizon League provided us with a statement that we'll get to in just a moment, but they did not send a representative uh, with us tonight. We are glad that the two of you are here. Tiana, I'll start with you. The Women's Basketball Conference Tournament starts in less than a month. Um, what is your reaction and your teammates' reaction to this decision? Honestly, we definitely had our hardships this season, but at the end of the day, that we, we know that once it comes to postseason play, everyone's record is 0-0. Zero, zero. So that's definitely a, another opportunity to really get at it and, you know, come together and upset some teams, you know, ruin some people's season. And now we won't even have that chance at redemption. We're just going to have to end the season just playing our hardest. But we definitely did get stripped of the chance to compete in any postseason play. And, of course, in, in basketball uh, in this conference, if you want to go to the NIT or NCAA tournament, usually the teams have to win their conference tournament. Uh, Michael Lippitz, give us a sense of the reaction all across your sports programs and the university. Yeah, it was a hard day Tuesday to, to receive this news. Um, this impacts 13 of our 18 teams and two, over 200 of our 300 student athletes. So uh, you touched on basketball, but uh, if, even before that, next week our swimming and diving teams uh, were set to, to go to Indianapolis. Uh, to compete in Horizon League championships. The week after, indoor track and field is set for its championships and uh, and all, all the way through the rest of the spring with our spring sports. So it's a devastating impact for these student athletes. And um, we, we don't understand. Uh, we know that this is within the board's purview, the Horizon League presidents to take this action. We don't understand why they chose to take it. It's entirely unnecessary. Tiana Jackson, you mentioned that the conference tournament is a chance to start 0-0, chance to upset some teams, but does this also have an impact on players' lives post-college? Uh, say the tournament might be a good place to display your skills to professional teams. Absolutely. I feel like as athletes, majority of us have devoted our entire lives to the sport that we're playing, um, constantly giving our blood, sweat, tears, our energy, our time. Like, in it's division one at the end of the day. Like, we invest so much of our lives into the sport. And majority of the time, we are working towards rings. Like, that. that is why we play our sport, to compete at high level. And a lot of us want the opportunity to play professionally, play overseas, you know, get those looks and be able to, like, really just – be the best at our sport and to have that taken away it's just it's unimaginable to to do that to students athletes who our main goal is to be the best that we can be in anything that we do and we won't even have that opportunity anymore and horizon league officials laid out their rationale in a statement saying quote when uic announced its intent to leave the horizon league at the end of the 2021-2022 season uic chose not to comply with the league's bylaw requiring that written notice of such intention must be received on or before July 1st, one year before the withdrawal date. In this instance, UIC needed to provide notice before July 1st, 2022 and remain a member until July 1st, 2023 to be in compliance within league bylaws and preserve opportunities for UIC teams. So, Michael, frustration aside, isn't the Horizon League just following its own protocol here? Uh, the league can't hide behind its bylaws. Uh, it, that's a false choice. The, the, the bylaws also indicate that the league has the purview uh, to take whatever action it deems appropriate with respect to a departing member. They met, the Horizon League presidents met and made this choice consciously. They voted to punish our student athletes. They didn't have to, they chose to. Um, so they can say they're fil following the bylaws, um, but this serves no legitimate purpose other than to inflict harm, inflict pain on our student athletes. Um, I would ask, why is it okay that we can complete the regular seasons in all of our winter sports and all of our spring sports, but it's the postseason opportunity that the league has taken away? Michael, let me ask you this. Was, was there any scenario in which UIC could have made this decision to go to a different conference within the time frame that Horizon League is talking about? There's not because we don't control the national landscape of conference realignment. Uh, the opportunity was presented in January. 
Uh, and we know that in the long run, uh, this is in the best interest of the institution, of the athletics department, and future student athletes. What it doesn't change, change is the impact that it's having on our current student athletes, but it's an impact that's not necessary. The league chose to take this stance. They chose to inflict this harm on our student athletes. They can also choose to change their mind, and that's what we're asking for. The, the Horizon League presidents can come together anytime they choose. They could do it today and change this decision. It's unjust, and it doesn't need to stand. Tiana Jackson, are there any other avenues, do you think, uh, to appeal this decision to the Horizon League officials? Honestly, I think the biggest thing for us right now is just getting support from other schools, from other people, um, from anyone, really. No one would want to be in a situation where they're doing something that they loved and the opportunity to be the best at it, to, have, to, name, to be named that title gets taken from them. No one would want to be in this position, especially no student athlete. I mean, this is really what we put majority of our time and effort into. And yeah, I just feel like it's about coming together and just being there to support because I know we aren't the only institution that's dealing with this right now. So it's supporting everyone. I don't think this bylaw should exist. And if it, if it, I mean, it exists at the expense of athletes. So I truthfully don't think that the bylaw should even be a bylaw. And at the end of the day, laws are made for people by people and they're actively choosing not to change their, their to change their mind and it, it really isn't fair it's unjust and all student athletes across the world are infuriated by the decisions that these conferences are making and michael Lippitz, you mentioned that you got invited to join the missouri valley conference loyola chicago was in that conference they're joining the atlantic 10 conference uh, so a lot of realignment happening what does that change bring to uic in the future, this is a tremendous opportunity for the institution and for our entire program and our student athletes. The Missouri Valley is a wonderful conference, provides a, a higher level of visibility for our student athletes, which, especially in this new era of name, image, and likeness, is really important for our student athletes to have that platform. Uh, and in addition, uh, the Missouri Valley has, in most sports, uh, the opportunity for multiple teams to make the NCAA tournament, not only the conference champion, uh, at large bids become a greater possibility in the Missouri Valley moving forward. So we know uh, that in the long run, it's the right decision uh, for everyone involved. Um, and again, in the short term, uh, the pain that we're feeling right now and our student athletes are feeling doesn't need to occur. Uh, the Horizon League can make, uh, make the choice to change their mind and do the right thing uh, by its student athletes. All right, well, we'll follow to see what the Horizon League does. And our thanks to Tiana Jackson and Michael Lippitz. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.